Hey guys, it's another video. Uh, I just want to put this stuff away because it's been sitting in my box and I want to play with it. But um, I have another haul and this one is going to be um, two, two scrapbooksteals.com thing. They came in one order. And then and the other one is, uh, actually the other one is also a scrapbooksteals.com uh, steal. Uh, they had a like eighty dollar value box, mystery box for twenty bucks. So I figured I'd take a chance to see what I got. So I'm gonna start with that, and I got some pretty decent stuff. I'll start with these. They're the American Crafts um, Tazzle, so it's glitter tape. So I don't mind those because it's a way that I do glitter without getting it everywhere. So I got like a teal, a Christmas green, and a black which I can use a Christmas screen. I could use white. Well, I could use a teal too for the Christmas cards. Anyway, I got those. And they got this in there. And this is by American Crafts. It's called Premium Ribbon and it's layered crepe paper. Well, I'm going to have to find a use for that because I don't know what to do with that. And the, there's a might have to do that because <laughs> I don't know what else to do with it. But I have that and they gave me this. So uh, my mind's eye six by six designer paper pad and this one is called play date. I'm sure everybody's seen this. Oops. I'm sure everybody's seen this. It's kind of preschool or childhood memories type thing. I can work with the colors. They're pretty bright. And I have a son, so I can use it. But this one, I did not know what to do with. Because this is not really what I work with. But I'll make it work because it came in the box. And this was Kology. So it's K and Company Kology Addison Specialty Papers. And that's what the front looks like. And it's got flocks and glittered and Boston foil papers. Two of each. And then there's 16 flat regular ones. And it also came with this, which was a 4x6 matting stack designer matte pad by Kane Company from Susan Winget. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Anyway. Oops. Some of the paper. I'm gonna have to make a mini album or something in for the grandparents. Oh, they might like that. And then this is a vacation mini album, or you can make a sign out of it. I'm not sure, but it says the word vacation cut out of it. So I'm gonna have to find a way to use that. And then they sent over these three, and these are from Imagine S. And it came with this tool, hybrid paper roller. So it has like an embossing end, and then it has like a quilling needle end. And you're supposed to make these three-dimensional flowers. So hopefully, I've never made flowers. But uh, hopefully these will work out great. And there's 24 pieces in each. And you can make those. And they come with different shapes. So they're 3D. And they have to be, you can use this. Rolly Rosies. And I mean, I've seen several tutorials where you can cut out the paper and roll it out yourself. Uh, but this is interesting to try. It's something new. I've never tried it, so... I would have never picked it up by myself or on my own, so I'm alright with getting it in the box. This one comes with 18 pieces. So the other two come with 24 and this one comes with 18. So I thought that was cool. And I got some Zaz, Zaz American Crafts Glitter Glue. I take it as like stickles. Hopefully it's not dried out. Taffy Grape and Grass are the colors. 
and this Pogo adhesive dot dispenser from Imagine Mess. I wouldn't imagine myself picking that up either at the store. I don't spend a lot of money on adhesives. I just bought a tape runner. I've been scrapbooking since like 2007 and I just got myself a tape runner, an ATG tape runner for her half off. And they gave me this one, the uh, this to that uh, solid adhesive runner and refill. So maybe I can stock up on some refill when they have them on sale because I have a dot runner case for them now. From American Crafts, and they sent me two foam, uh, three dimensional foam dots in circles and in squares. And I've seen these at the store for four bucks. I usually buy the dollar fifty roll that is on that they sell at Big Lots. So I'm glad I got those to try them out. And this is the final thing that I got uh, from Tim Holtz in that mystery box. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Because this is not anything I would do. But we'll see. We'll make it work. And then the other scrapbook steel that I got. I'm at 624 so I need to hurry up. Is this Glitz design paper. It was a Hello December collection kit that was on sale. And I saw it. This is the paper that it comes with. Here's this one. It crosses. And it's like green. It's pretty. I really like the colors. That brown. I like those. And what I love the most about Christmas is so cute. Christmas trees. Like the same. Oh, that comes with a different one. I didn't even realize that. So. There's the Christmas trees and the Mary. So two of those. Hmm. Oh, I must have picked up that up by mistake. And then there's this one. And it comes with this sticker sh sheet with the good grain alphabet that I really like. Some word phrases, yellow stickers. This cream colored, red and green, and then the uh, sticker sheet shapes, which are really cute. Look at that wood grain. Dear, so cute. I love the glitz rhinestones. I wish I could get all of them, but it came with this pack, of course, for the Christmas line. These are the whatnots, which are the die cut pieces. And the uh, bits and pieces, which are journaling cards. And here's the back, so you can see the rest of those. And it came with this little deer roller stamp. Oh. And I bought these separate. So this is a Hello Word Bubble. There's that cross pattern. And sorry about that, guys. My phone's going off. And this pattern. And a flower pattern that was on the paper. All right, guys. So that's nine minutes. So I'm going to. That was all that I got for those two hauls. Um, and I'll put up another video. Uh, click like and subscribe. And I hope to pick some more up. Bye.